Hey everybody, um, so I am coming to you from my kitchen. The vibes in here are pretty good. It's only taking me three months to get this far, but um, it's actually starting to feel like a kitchen. So I thought I would go ahead and film in here just to give uh, a little variety. Um, maybe I'll do a cooking show. I kind of just wanted to get on here and share an experience I had last night uh, with a few of my friends. But getting out of your comfort zone sometimes helps and it was a moment in which I was going to paint with one of my friends and we were going to kind of just be a little productive together and I had work to do anyway and so we were using the hangout time and work time together which is a good idea if you have shit to do you know and you can do it with your friends then you can kind of knock two birds with one stone I don't like that expression but yeah you know what I mean and it turned out really cool um we actually had uh more friends come by and paint with us and it turned into this like I don't know painting with a twist type situation where I'm like leading this class of people who want to paint and it wasn't planned out that way uh it's kind of worked out that way but it was kind of fun i never wanted to be a teacher i've never wanted to lead a class per se i've always thought i could be able to do it for adults which i mean everybody there was an adult so it was not that i don't like kids or anything i just when i've tried to teach other people what I do because I have been asked many times like how do you draw this or how do you do this like can you show me or can you teach me and any time that I've been in that situation I haven't been able to convey I guess what I do in any simple kind of terms like I don't know if you're familiar with that meme I think it's really funny it's a one or two step three step process of drawing something and they're like start with the shapes you know step one and then step two draw the rest <laughs> so that's kind of what it was for me in the moment i can't i guess i feel like i can't slow it down um like you either i'm doing it or you know you have to keep up or I, I i can't like i can't break it down into steps for you and also i don't know if it's that easy to um in one sitting or in one class you know and so i think I have learned from my teachers helping people along in their own process is better than trying to teach them my process and I think that's what was different because we were all doing something different and we weren't uh, like in a class where you do with painting with a twist you have one image and everyone mimics that image I didn't set that up this way I wasn't planning on doing that uh, we were just kind of having fun and hanging out so um, everyone kind of just picked their own thing what they wanted to do and I provided the materials and then you know I let them know how to use it how do you get a certain color you know what would be good here or there or what's the next step that I need to take and it was really fun like I enjoyed it a lot it felt somewhat like a teaching moment for me that went really well I've never tried to be a teacher but it was really cool I'll just say that kind of opened my eyes a little bit about stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something that I felt like I never really wanted to do but was kind of just just kind of fell into it yesterday and it was fun and I liked it and so I thought you know, maybe this is something that I can do, maybe something like this. Maybe I could do a class of some sort. Um, and it would be cool to really do a workshop with people who want to learn how to do something. Obviously, like, it would be online, most likely. Not sure that I could do something in person, although that would be cool. And there's a lot of spaces online where you can teach people how to do something, um, something specifically. And... I'm not really sure that I do anything spectacular that's any different from any other watercolor artist or uh, artist in general, but it would be interesting to see how that goes. So, with that said, 
I really enjoyed the experience. The lesson it taught me that I would want to pass on to you is to step out of your comfort zone. Do something you think you can't do. Do something that maybe makes you uncomfortable and it kind of opens the door for other things. And I think that's a really good thing that you should open yourself up to more possibilities. And when they say think out of the box or um, do what you think you can't, it's really about opening that door or at least cracking it open so that you can actually see what's on the other side of this fear or see what's on the other side of this hesitation, see what's on the other side of this block that you might be feeling. Sometimes our artists get artist block a lot. I know it happens for me a lot and usually my only work around or work through is to paint or to draw. I need to like make something in order to like get through what I'm whatever blockage that I feel because for me what worked more often was to do something every day. To have like my sketchbook laid out on my table, to have my painting or whatever I felt like I needed to do. Everything was already laid out and I all I had to do was come to it and sit. I just came, you know, you show up. You just show up. And everything's waiting for you. If you have to take time to like prepare, like get everything out and get everything ready, do that beforehand, before you need to, so that when inspiration strikes or you want to do something or you need to do something or you need to get through something all you have to do is show up you show up and you do it and you start and everything's ready waiting for you and that's kind of how it kind of how it worked for me for a long time to be able to keep working it takes a lot of bad art to get to the good stuff so being able to just sit and work on something without thinking or without worrying about how good it is, is super helpful. Like, if this horrible piece of work is gonna get you to this great piece of work, then you gotta go through it. You gotta do it. Because even though in your mind you can't maybe rationalize how important it is to do something bad in order to get something good, for instance, if you're in your sketchbook, your sketchbook probably has a lot of crap in there you don't want people to see because you're working through something. And that's the space that you do work in to work through things, to work through ideas, and to not worry about who's gonna see what. Like your sketchbook is not really a place for you to be Miss Perfection. You don't wanna be this perfect person there. You wanna be able to get out your ideas, work through them, and find new ideas. I always find new ideas when I just sit and doodle and like throw paint down throw colors down, throw color combinations out, right? work something with new, do something weird. And it's really, really helpful. And I think that's really important in art making that you do something that is not normal for you. And it helps you to open up a little bit more. And each of these things that you do is going to teach you something in whatever small way that is gonna benefit you later and that's gonna benefit this beautiful work of art that you're trying to get to. You're gonna be able to do better because of the small little steps you took towards it, be them good or bad or whatever. Just they may be meaningless steps, but I think that they are steps that need to be involved in your art process regardless. So. I know that some of this might not be super profound for most people. Uh, for most creatives. Um, being able to express these things myself helps me um, get things out into reality uh, instead of roping around in my head and like, you know, making more blockage. It's helpful for me then it's probably helpful for someone else to hear. I know that we tell ourselves a lot of crazy things in our mind. We can talk down to ourselves very easily and a few words of encouragement from a friend from a stranger is often helpful regardless another thing that kind of sparked this series is that in your daily life there are a lot of things that are not directly related to your art practice but help your art practice greatly for instance me unpacking the kitchen has made me feel 
so much better having less of a weight on my shoulders, knowing that there's something that you need to do that's not getting done. Uh, and often that is chores. So many things are weighing down on me. I need to go grocery shopping like crazy. Um, I need to finish the kitchen. I need to start working on my main room because it's a multifunction. That's the word I'm looking for. Multifunction space. It's my living room. It's my bedroom. It's my studio. So, not a lot of room in there for all of my crap. And I have a lot of crap. Even though my space is not directly related to what I'm doing in my art, it is directly affecting whether I do it or not. Whether I have the mental clarity or the ability to think about art or not. Does that make sense? There are things in your life and daily struggles you're gonna go through that are going to affect how you do your art, when you do your art, what you do your art about, obviously. These are our babies. We need to pay attention to them. We need to be there for them at all hours of the day. We want to be there for them at all hours of the day. And sometimes we just don't have the energy to bring our best. Smaller areas, mundane areas, non-magical areas uh, bring more magic to what we're doing. Just getting things done has just... I don't know, opened up more ideas for me, opened up a pathway past feeling like I'm behind, I am stuck. And there's a car alarm going off. This stuff is a very common part to all of our lives. It says more than just being an artist, you are a caretaker of yourself, of your life, and of others, and others are trying their best to love and care for you and you want to be able to bring your best to them bring the best to yourself have time and space for all of it and keeping up with the little things is going to help with that those are my little nuggets of wisdom getting out of your comfort zone is a great way to open up a little bit more in your practice and taking care of the small things that you're neglecting, not wanting to do, will also help you move forward in your practice because your mind will be clearer and you're not gonna be worrying about these small little things that you don't wanna do. Just do them, get them out of the way. I usually am a big supporter of doing the hard thing first. It, Alarm again. Gosh, where was I? All of these little puzzle pieces to your life create the big picture. In that sense, adulting is hard. I know. I hate it. <laughs> but it is necessary. I would add in addition to that, you know, to not let that stop you. You know, even through the mess and the craziness that is my apartment, I still manage to make work. Last night, I made work at my friend's house, which was awesome, you know. Uh, they just moved in, so there was nothing in the house but the bare floor and us. And that in itself was helpful for me because I wasn't in a space that I needed to take care of and that I needed to think about my surroundings or that I was distracted really in any way, you know. So, something like that might be very helpful for you. Uh, maybe you should give it a try, get your friends together and... You know, if you've been wanting to hang out with them or do something, why don't you guys go do art? Why don't you teach them something? Why don't you show them how you do something? Get together, have art time. If you're going to go have drinks, I mean, we were drinking wine too, so I mean, that was pretty good. But I mean, it's the kind of thing that loosens you up and you can go and have fun and be productive at the same time. And it works. And... I highly recommend it. So that's all for this week, guys. I uh, hope this helped you in some small way. Maybe it'll help you in the future. But thanks for being here. And I appreciate and love all of you. Until next time.